Have you guys heard about Wiz? Wiz Khalifa. My man, Wiz Khalifa. So there was an incident. It's going viral right now. It happened on Friday. So Wiz came out with a new album. And he had an album release party in L.A. And, you know, usually his DJ is Bonix. Uh, You know, Bonix is like a... If you ever heard of Bonix, I mean, definitely look him up. He's a, such a good DJ. He's, uh, you know, he's competed in Red Bull 3 style and all that. But And he, he's very well known as Wes, Wiz Khalifa's DJ. But I think, like, Bonix is, like, you know, getting a lot of opportunities. So maybe he wasn't available for this particular gig because he wasn't there. But for whatever reason, Wiz was working with uh, DJ... Mike Danger and MC Tron, okay? And they messed up somehow, and Wiz got caught on camera freaking out on them, on the mic, live on stage. So I'll show you guys the video. We're going to show you all the angles, okay? And then you can make your decision on you know what you think. Because if, if you've seen it on Facebook yet or Instagram or whatever, there's some DJs that are calling to kind of ban Wiz Khalifa, say like, all right, we're not going to play shit no more, yeah, yeah, yada. It's getting heated, all right? This is, this is definitely a big hot topic at the moment. So let's see what happened, okay? This is the video. If you want to fight, we can do it. Okay, so that's what happened. So from the video, you could see that, you know, he, whatever, something happened and he started calling out the DJ, the DJ, Mike Danger, who allegedly that's who it is, um, uh, looked kind of embarrassed, you know, and like was kind of smiling. And then he like tried to like kind of hug him and was like, oh, sorry, man, my bad type shit. And he was like, don't fucking hug me. Get the fuck, you know, he called him a hoe ass N word, which is like kind of disrespectful to DJs because it's, you know, we're just, we're just like horse, you know, we're just like, we're just, we're just bitches. We're just like, you know, you play what we say, you know, we run shit, right? Ugh, it's like, you know, but, but like, what did he do? Right. You know, I don't know. So let's, instead of me, what the hell do I know? Right. Let's go to the experts. Okay. Kid Capri came out with this video addressing the situation. Yo, where's Khalifa? No surprise, man. You're a big, you're a cool dude, man. When I met you, you was a cool dude, man. That's why I'm a little surprised why you would disrespect those DJs like that, man. These kids as young dudes probably, you know, um, scared and nervous that they're playing for you, happy that they're playing for you, probably not as professional and on point as you are. But for you to stand up there and disrespect them like that, man, that was just crazy, B. You know what I'm saying? Like... And this is the things I was talking about in the Breakfast Club. Like, the DJ goes through it, you know what I'm saying? And it be stuff like this that minimizes what the, what the DJ is. Like, you know, I don't know if you was lit or drunk or whatever the case may be, but if that was me and you spoke to me like that, I would have swung on you right away, immediately. And we would have dealt with it how we have to deal with it afterwards. But I wouldn't have went for that, you know what I'm saying? But they're young kids, and I get it, but... These are the same dudes that play your music, man. DJs play your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get in front of that crowd and disrespect them like that. I just didn't agree with that. That was, that was whack. So the legend speaks. He's probably the most qualified or one of the most qualified people to speak on this. So I definitely thought this was relevant. First of all, kick Capri. Put on your seatbelt, dog. We don't need to be losing you anytime soon. <laughs> you hear that bell going off? Do, do. Put that fucking seatbelt on, dog. Um... So yeah, so he spoke on that. I definitely see where he's coming from. Okay, and on top of that, you know, speaking of legends, Rob Swift as well had a tweet and he said, rappers like Wiz Khalifa actually expect DJs to recognize them as superior, which is crazy to me because DJs started this whole entire culture. 
So actually, DJs are superior to rappers. And that's also an interesting point because, you know, you know, like I said, him, you know, calling us hoes and all this, you know, he's basically just saying, like, we work for rappers and uh, we need to do what they say and, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, you know, he's kind, he's kind of missing, you know, he's he's... He's shooting himself in the foot a little bit, I think. You know, DJs need or rappers need DJs. They need us. You know, they 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 need us. You, they're not gonna play fucking Cushion OJ in in in, in Walmart. Okay, they're not gonna pay, play Cushion OJ at your grocery store. You need us to play that shit. Okay, you knew uh, uh what's that badass bitches song? That shit's not getting played in the mall, dog. You need us to play it. <laughs> so like, you can't like literally disrespect DJs as a whole. You know, if he messed up and you want to, like, put him in his place, all right? But, like, you can't, like, come at DJs as a whole and kind of, like, the way he did it was, like, I don't know, kind of crazy. Now, his side of the story, I don't have the video. I saw the video. He was he was, got interviewed in a, on a podcast or something in the last, like, 24 hours, 48 hours. Someone shared the video. Like an idiot, I forgot to screenshot the video or, like, screen record the video. And then they deleted the video and it's not there no more. I couldn't find it before the show. But he basically said that, you know, um, during the show... The MC was talking over the songs and the DJ was just wilding out and he was like back spinning and like, you know, doing like crazy shit like like that wasn't planned that he shouldn't have been doing. And he kind of made it seem like, you know, the DJ and the MC were like almost like kind of flexing up there, you know, trying to like flex they're like, yo, they're, they're pumped. They're playing with Wiz Khalifa and then they're like doing shit that's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing right now? Like you're fucking up the show. And then he like decided to address it like that. And then Wiz went on to say in the video that like, you know, how he came up. It was like, you know, if you're messing up, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to curse you out. I'm going to put you in your place. That's just how I've come up. Like, that's just how it works. And he said that like, you know, and then he went on to complain about, you know, how like the, the, this next generation, they're easily offended. And like, you can't really, you can't really put people in their place no more because they get offended and they, they try and like, you know, cancel you and yada, yada, yada. And like, he went off with that kind of like argument. And, you know, and I, so like, I see like, you know, if, if he was doing stuff that was just absolutely egregious and yet, you know, call him out. Like there's a, there's that famous, um, uh, Biggie video, look it up on YouTube after the show. You know, there's a, there's a video of Biggie back in like 95 or 94 and he's playing with, I forget the DJ. He's a legendary DJ too, but the guy was messing up and Biggie like cursed him out on stage. <laughs> he's like, yo man, what the fuck? <laughs> and he was like mad as hell on stage. And like, you know, so like it's embarrassing and you're kind of publicly embarrassing them, but like, it's, you know, I get, but like, you just got to go about the right way in my opinion, you know, and, and saying that, you know, shoving him in real life. So putting his hands on him, hundred percent wrong. Like that's like, that's fight on site for me. Don't shove me. I, w- I would have swung too. you know, that number one. And then number two, you know, saying like, you know, ho ass DJs and all this, like kind of disrespecting the culture, you know, just like kind of Rob Swift said, you know, they're, they're, they're acting like they're superior to DJs when like DJs are responsible for hip hop. Like they're they're literally responsible for hip hop. And you know, you got to respect quite, and you need DJs still, still to this day. Like you need DJs like Pete, you know, you're going to, you're not, you'll make your money off the streaming kind of not a lot, you know, and your shows and all that. But like, if you really want a song to pop off, you need DJs to make that pop off. Like, like we're the ones that play your shit. Especially Wiz, because it's not like Wiz makes this family friendly music that's played all over the place. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's in like he's hip hop. He's real hip hop. And he, you know, so like it's us that plays it at the clubs. It's us that plays it like at an occasional wedding. If you can't like it's us. And um, even the DJs on TikTok, it's us that will, you know, like put it on TikTok and like could possibly make it go viral. You know, other people could. But like we're one of them. So if you piss off the entire culture of DJs to the point where I'm seeing multiple DJs that I look up to are saying like, nah, I'm not playing Wiz no more. That's a problem. And he's really, really, really shooting himself in the foot here. And that's my opinion. I, but I don't know. You know, I mean, you know, th- there's two sides of every story. I wish I had the video of the other side, you know, but I just think he just handled it wrong. You know, I think like, uh, you know, that you just you, you got to handle shit the right way. You know, you just got to handle shit the right way. That's all. So, you know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, it's definitely a crazy thing. Let me know if you're going to continue to play Wiz. I'm still going to play Wiz. I'm not going to like personally, I'm not going to, you know, boycott his music. I mean, because like that's just a slippery slope in my opinion. Uh, you know, you boycott Wiz for this. Then like, you know, what? Do you, then then I can't play Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, Chris Brown. I can't play like there's like a bunch of like artists that probably did a little worse than this. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I still separate 
this shit. Am I going to drop his new shit? I mean, I don't, I don't think like his new shit's going to pop off now. Like at first I'd liked a couple of the songs off the album, but now I feel like no DJs are going to like go out of their way to play his new shit. So like, it's never going to pop off. That's where I think it's going to affect Wiz. Like, you know, like I think, you know, six months from now, a year from now, we'll forget about all this and we'll still play like the old school Wiz, you know, and things like that. Like, you know, all his hits, like his, his hits will continue to get played forever. But like, if he wants this new album to pop off, you know, this was bad timing. He fucked up. Like now, I don't care how good these songs are. Like it's probably not going to pop off because a lot of these DJs are going to like, you know, step over it. Like, nah, now nah, pl- I'd rather play the new Megan. I'd rather play that new Beyonce, right? Like I'd rather, there's a lot of new music out right now, you know? So it, it you, th- that's where he shot himself in the foot. I think this album's going to be a dud because of this incident. And, and you know, that's probably what's going to happen. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Crazy stuff, you know? 